Ryan Fellwell, and this guy, by the way, not like he needs any introduction. <laughs> CFL fans watching this show will remember him. Three-time Grey Cup champion. He has had a Hall of Fame career. I remember him as the Calgary Stampeder, but he spent time with the BC Lions as well as the Chargers, Jaguars, and Steelers. He joins us on video chat today. Ryan, happy uh, New Year. How are you? I'm doing well, Rob. I see you got my guy on there, Craig Smith, eh? <laughs> He's taking credit for launching your career in the CFL, and I say that only somewhat facetiously, Smitty. Ryan, maybe you can tell the story. How did how did this come together? With regards to the show? You and Craig. You and Craig. He says that oh, he helped bring you to the CFL. Do you know what? Um, I wasn't uh, a, a part of that with regards to the decision to bring me in. Um I, you know, being drafted um, by the BC Lions in '98, uh, but I was down south. I was at University of Minnesota, so um, I also got drafted by the 49ers. So I was uh, going to take that path path first to see where it went. But you know, when things didn't work out, and I had the opportunity to uh, go up to BC, um, I loved it. Um, it was a beautiful city, uh, amazing people. Uh, Craig, oh, Craig is again. I, I say he's my guy, but. He, he was amazing to, to, to work with and, uh, you know, but seven years, eight, if you count that, uh, the, the last year there that I, that I snuck in at BC with, with uh, the 2011 Great Cup. So um, it's been an amazing experience and it's because of uh, people like Craig. Well, that's very nice, Ryan. Thank you very much. And Ryan, you should write well, a hang book. Craig, hey, Craig, go ahead, Craig. He's <laughs> answering him. Ryan was was so special. I remember University of Minnesota, and I, I'm a, a University of Minnesota Gopher, Golden Gopher fan. And and uh, then I remember San Diego. I remember you being in San Diego. And uh, but you came to us, and I uh, I remember negotiating. Who's your agent at that time when he first came in? Oh gosh, I was a gentleman by the name of Chris Blythe. Chris he was Blythe, out of okay. a Madison, Wisconsin. Okay, I, I dealt with him, and, and we, we got you signed up and come in. We were so ecstatic and a hell of a career. I've never seen like I've I coach receivers. I, I when I go to the NFL camps, receivers are the first guys I go to. I have never seen a guy that could block better than you. And you take a look at this string bean of a guy. He was one of the strongest receivers <laughs> I've ever seen. It, it, it was totally incredible. And you add that with your great hands and you know ability to run. It. it it's too bad that we didn't win that 2004 Grey Cup because that yep. was a lot of fun. That was a you tough and Brazel and G Roy and, and uh, great, great uh, Frank Catola. You know, it was a it was a great, great year. Yeah, that that uh, that was a tough one. And thanks for the for the compliment. You know, I, it's it's interesting nowadays. You see uh, you see what people uh, consider great receivers, and you see his one handed catches and and mm -hmm. all these little fancy tricks and. Uh, you know what I always comp I always took pride in in blocking and and I was a big mm -hmm. believer in that uh, football's the ultimate team sport and everybody's got to do their job and you know we're we're paid to catch but um, those big runs don't happen if the receivers Absolutely. are blocking downfield but it Absolutely. did take pride in it and Antonio Warren set a record in the Grey Cup at that time. I think it, Corey, I think, broke it. But, uh, you know, he had, uh, I can't remember how many yards, but it's because of you guys, the way you did it. And, and uh, you know, a great receiving core, great quarterbacks. Remember, Casey Printers won the most outstanding yep. player that year. And, uh, you know, uh, yeah, it was just, it's a great year. And, and, and just, Fun year. Fun year. yeah, yeah, for sure. Ryan, uh, I mentioned three-time Grey Cup champion off the top when we introduced you. What do you remember about those specific championship games? It's interesting. So I take a little bit from, from each one. So uh, in, in 2004, Craig, I, I don't know if you remember this, Craig, but um, do you remember mm -hmm. the day before uh, mm -hmm. the bus ride to the stadium? Marcus McFadden? Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. and there was a little bit of I'll a, never forget uh, that. Most people don't know about it. Yeah, there's a little bit of an altercation on the bus um, that <laughs> it was pretty much a brawl on the bus uh, on yeah. the way to the stadium uh, yeah. for the day before walkthrough. And I just remember uh, uh, Wally kind of taking a look back and you know, seeing everything going on and just tapping the bus driver on the, on the shoulder and say, yeah, let's go. Right. So, you know, it just, it, that, that year it didn't work out. Uh, it didn't work out for us, but that was our first year there as uh, with that group. So it was a it was a pretty big learning experience. Uh, I can speak for me personally. Um, and going into 2006, um, having gone through that that experience, I, I knew what to ex what what was expected and what to expect going in. So 
were a little bit more relaxed. Um, what I remember about that game, that game seemed to go by so fast. I was in like one of those cold games. And, and um, what I remember the most, um, crazy, um, after the game, you know, they do, they do the celebration and you, know, you go up, you, you're presented the Grey Cup. And I, I remember heading back uh, into the locker room. I was with Jason Claremont. Uh, because we were so cold uh and, and heading into the locker room and taking the pads off and we literally were, were standing in the shower uh with you know just shirts on our, our game pants <laughs> the hot water running uh just just trying to to warm up but um that was was pretty cool uh calgary in in 2008 was pretty special because i i know it had been a while since um they had been to a great cup and just the circumstances around the game, uh, you know, going into Montreal and playing Montreal. I don't think a lot of people um, uh, a, a, a chance to win, and and we had some characters on the team that that made it special. So going in and and winning in Montreal uh, was, was was pretty exciting. How does a guy from Montego Bay, Jamaica, handle the CFL fall season and winter games? How did you handle that? I'm still trying to figure it out. Ron, that's a good question, Ron. I, I don't know how I did it. Like we had uh, just last week here in Calgary, we had that little that cold spell where it was, I think we got to minus 40 uh, for three or four days. And I, I, I remember saying that to my wife. Like, I don't know how we did it. I don't know how I went and practiced here in Calgary. We had a couple of days. Uh, I think, Rod, it was 2000, it was 2010 where we lost you guys here in, the, in that West Finals. It was minus 27. And I thought that was that was probably one of the coldest games I, I ever played in. So, you know what? It's you know, I grew up in London, Ontario. We we moved to to London when I was pretty young, so I I got acclimated to the cold pretty pretty quickly. So it wasn't that big of a deal. And you know, playing at the University of Minnesota, we had some pretty cold days there as well, right? So uh, for me, it, it wasn't uh, it wasn't that big of a deal. But um, I think some of our guys that came up from Florida or Texas had a bit of trouble adjusting. Well, you, you do what you have to do. You do what's in front of you, right? And uh, yep. you did it as well as anybody. Frenzy, did you have something for Ryan? Because you had... I'm just going to say, have you ever thought of writing a book, uh, Ryan? Oh, oh I'm not that interesting. I don't think they want to hear anything from me. <laughs> you, you know what? Uh, no, I never thought of it. Um, you know, I, maybe it's something that I, that, that I uh, <laughs> look at a little... Uh, little, little uh, farther down the line when I'm when I'm older but um today no I haven't really thought about that well I think your story's pretty interesting Absolutely. I'm enjoying this Absolutely. and you've made reference a couple times to being in Calgary so what's up in your life now yeah so you know I've been out of the game since but 2011 so I'm uh I'm director of development with a company called Rocky Cross Construction North DKI so we are in the disaster restoration business so uh, it's busy. You see what's uh, what's going on around the world with with regard mm -hmm. to the weather and and disasters. You know, flood hurricanes, and uh, we're not oblivious to it here in, in Alberta with you know fires and, and floods and hail. Right. So uh, it's it's an interesting business. Um, there's something new every day. Um, we've got 91 locations uh, across across the country. We've got actually. Uh, uh, Century West there in Regina and SDS uh, in in Saskatoon, so we're represented out there as well. So it's uh, it's been fun. Well, you're going to be a success no matter what you do, Ryan. And this has been an awesome trip down memory lane. I appreciate the time and all the best in 2020. And thank you. Uh, great job. I you know I I had to to to, to post a little uh, a little note on the show last week when you had Nick on. I, I I thought you guys did an amazing job, and you know thank you for having me. You betcha. Thank you, Ryan. All the best, Ryan. Oh, thanks, Ryan. Thank you very much, guys. Have a great day. Ryan Thelwell out in Calgary. I'm telling you, a Hall of Famer, three-time Great Cup champion. That is rare. Uh, okay, it's time for the Frenzy walk-off. I'm getting my phone ready. You ready, Frenzy? Your uh -huh. ride's here. Is it, my ride isn't here. Oh, yes, he is. is. He's right there. He is. They're waiting for me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's get to the wide shot, folks. Not that wide, though, right, Frenzy? Yeah, not that wide. But anyway, it's been great. All right, Frenzy. We'll see, see you next week. Good right seeing on. you, John. Bye-bye. Here you go. The Frenzy walk-off brought to you by <laughs> Baldur's Rec Room. Yeah. Hang on, everybody. We got more football to get to after this. It's the Rod Peterson Show on Facebook Live and listen live at rodpeterson.com. 
You're watching Rod Peterson On Demand. For more of The Rod Peterson Show, visit rodpeterson.com or follow Rod Peterson on social media.